Good day everyone. In this video I want to do something different and I actually want to show you a very simple thing based on a video that I saw on Facebook where someone went to a petrol station, wanted to prove that the people actually don't put 20 liters into your tank when they claim that the pump is putting in 20 liters. So in this specific video it said that the pump had put in 20.01 liters and the person had a can, a plastic can like this, uh, not exactly similar, but a plastic container nonetheless on the back of a bucky where they showed where the 20 liter mark was and um, where they, they said that the, the fuel was actually a lot lower than that. Now, if you look at the discrepancy, uh, I wasn't there to actually do the measurements or anything like that, but there's a lot of people that made comments with regards to the method and said that the method is wrong, that you need to use a metal canister because the plastic canister actually bulges out. When you actually put fuel into this, it bulges out and because of that, the level will then show that it's lower. Now, I will prove to these people saying this that you don't understand basic science. So, if you have a plastic can like this, and you fill it with water, which is what the one person suggested you do to do the test, is you take 20 uh, uh, one liter bottles, you fill it to a liter mark, and you need to be exact, obviously, with the quantities, and then put 20 liters of water into a can like this. If you do that, if you put 20 liters into a can like this, then you can then mark the can. Now, the bulging that happens to the can with water will always be more than it'll be with petrol or diesel. Why is this? The specific gravity of water is one, if it's distilled and pure water. One is a specific gravity which gives you uh, the weight. And what uh, petrol as well as diesel um, has a specific gravity is less than that, which means that it's lighter than water. If you put petrol or diesel into a plastic can, the mark will actually be higher, which means that this is a perfectly sound method to actually test to see if a, a, a petrol pump is putting in less. If you make a mark on a, on, a, on a plastic can like this, and say the mark is over here on this line here, and that is 20 liters, and you uh, put take that water out, and you put in uh, what is called 20 liters of fuel, and the fuel is below that mark, you know that you have literally been cut short, because it should be slightly above that mark because it shouldn't dent the plastic out as much. You know, plastic bottles can uh, dent out, and um, because of that, the physical level might be lower. But the fuel will make less of a dent, because it is less dense. That's why the specific gravity is not above one, it's below one. And um, what that tells you is that the method of using a can like this, if you have put in 20 liters of water accurately and you mark the can, you go and you put fuel in here and it's less than that mark. You've been done in. And a lot of people have said, but these pumps are checked all the time and uh, verified every 18 months and the garages get certificates. There's many ways of fooling and tricking people. Um, that's not the rocket science. It's fairly simple to do. And even if you steal a uh, hundred milliliters a tank with the amount of people that go through that garage the amount of extra money you make is profound so be aware that it's possible to do this that the method is sound and anyone that doesn't understand that doesn't understand basic science so i just wanted to put that out there i hope you enjoyed watching it and uh yeah maybe in future i'll make more videos like this I know this is not normal for this channel, but if you like the content I put out, please subscribe, click the bell icon, and uh, then you can get notifications for new videos. And then in the description below this video, you'll find links to all other social media channels that I have out there. I think with the fuel prices the way it is now, it's important that people know that there is a method that they can use. You can just use a can like this to test, to see if your local petrol station 
is cheating you or not. If you want to do that, uh, I am certainly not going to do that uh, for various reasons. But you are free to do that and challenge that petrol station uh, using this method. It is going to be more conservative doing it this way than a steel can. For those that don't have scientific minds, like some of the people that have commented on some of these posts. Thank you very much for watching this video. Till the next video.